Hi, it's late and I've been in the dark for several hours and I don't feel like turning the light on, so I apologize for the dimly lit thing. This is actually my diffuser light. I want to show you, it's really cool. That's my diffuser. So, we are talking by the fire diffuser light. Um, anyway, uh, so I'm back on here. Something interesting happened today. Sorry, the sound is my feet on the floor. Um, something interesting happened today, which is, you know, lately I've been getting along with my father, which is weird. It's great. But I've been a lot more patient with him. Um, and, you know, it, it's just improved everything. Me being patient <laughs> and not yelling when he gets all upset. Um, today, uh, we went up to see my nephew's soccer game. It was my father's birthday, so we went out for dinner afterwards. And, you know, it's me and my parents in the car and I hope that I can, I, I, I'm, I'm hoping that the, the chill with him comes back but like I, yeah I, mean, I didn't lose it but it was tough it was a rough ride um and I I kept getting you know well um the emotions would come up and I I really try <laughs> and I suppose trying is different than doing right but I really I tried not to, not, not to let it get under my skin, but to, to not get carried away with being, the thing being under my skin, you know, to just watch the emotions. But, you know, when you get, when it's so strong, you just like, you, your body, you're like, ah, ah. and, um, I, I find it difficult to keep my mouth shut, to be honest. I mean, it's not like I can walk away. I'm in driving in the car and he's in the backseat. Um, so, you know, and it's stupid little things, like, uh, like parking the car, like just, but I mean, he's so weird, <laughs> he's such an odd human being, um, I'm not gonna go through the whole story, but it was, there was some maddening things that were like, no one else does this, and I'm not saying like, I like being weird, being weird is great, and he's weird, and that's great. But he's also just really weird. <laughs> you know? And just the stuff. Anyway. So, the point is, not what he did, but more about how I was feeling about it. And how I handled it. Which, I mean, I didn't fly off the handle. Which is great. I uh, think I was a lot more calm than I would have been a few months ago. But, um... I, I did try not to say anything, and that did not happen. Um, because when he just, he, this is, I, I, I'm not trying to make excuses here, I'm just trying to figure this out. I'm gonna sit down here because I feel sitting forward's hurting my back. So, now I'm down here. I don't know if you can see me or what. I'm gonna move this. Everything's moving around. Okay, let's see. Can we do this? Um, oh, maybe, maybe we can do this. Nope, not that. Maybe this. No one's like, whoop. Maybe a little bit better? I don't know. So, um, yeah. So I was working on, like, just being in my body. And I just, it, it was hard for me to stay in my body when my father was speaking words that made me very annoyed. Um, and, you know, he does this thing where he just goes, like, oh, I can't. But you know what? Telling the story of it doesn't help. It just it rekindles the feelings. So I'm, just, I'm trying to figure out, like, I was thinking about this today. Maybe it was yesterday, I don't know. But I'm trying to figure out, like, okay, so... I'm feeling something, whatever, and, you know, I, I take myself away from it, you know, I watch it, I, I separate myself, I relax, release, and let it go, and the thing is, like, like, for instance, um, there's a thing with my sister that, you know, I mean, we haven't spoken now in two and a half years, <laughs> you know, and it's, it's, you know, the, they say things are two-way. 
and usually they are. Uh, and I am always willing to admit where I'm wrong. But this is like, she just stopped talking to all of us for no, like she didn't give a reason. Didn't give a reason. Um, she just, I mean like, see the first part of me right there goes like, who the hell does that? Just stops talking to their family without even saying why. <laughs> You know, like, I mean, I understand. One thing was that, uh, I'm not going to tell the story because it's just a habit, right? If I keep telling it. But, um, one thing that, um, you know, I mean, like, basically, at one point, I, she was doing something shitty and I called her on it. But I didn't do it in a mean way. I just said, Actually, this is what the truth is. She blew up at me, and I mean, I get sometimes I get so angry about it, like so angry. Because the thing is, it's hurting my mother so much. Like she's just, and there's no reason for it. She's, and I mean. I just can't, I just, the, just the sad, I mean, and I know that I'm, okay, so I know that it's not my thing to pick up, right? My mother's sad, but doesn't mean that I must echo the sadness because I have this thing where like, if someone's feeling bad, I feel like going down and, and feeling the way they feel somehow will make them feel better, but it doesn't. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But anyway, I'm kind of going all over here. Um, so with my father, I'm, I'm working on not coming out of that place of irritation, but like what, when, where is that suppression? At what point is that suppression? Like I'm breathing, I'm relaxing, I'm releasing, and I'm not reacting until I do. But you know, I mean, there are points at which I'm not, there's something that's in my eyes, sorry guys. Um, um, there's a point at which uh, you know I do react but some some points I'm able to keep my mouth shut it's just so hard because he I mean he he wants to fight <laughs> he, he wants yeah he wants to to make yeah it's just you know he's someone who um He's very, uh, he's right and you're wrong. And that's the way it is. And people are like, oh yeah, my father's like that. No, you don't know. <laughs> you, you don't know. And even my friends, like, people will be like, oh, you know, everybody's, everybody thinks their parents are crazy. And my friends are like, no, her, her parents are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it's really more a father than anything else. I mean, um, it's my father. It's like, my dad is crazy. Oh, my dad's crazy too. <laughs> it's like, no, her dad is actually legitimately insane. Um, anyway, so he likes that. He likes, he likes the, the confrontation. He likes that it's, he wants people to be upset. If he is upset, the world should be upset. So he's going to let you know how upset he is until you feel as upset he, as he feels because he's banging around and shouting and swearing and getting angry for no fucking reason. Like I was in, like in the car, we're driving along and I think it was, um, I don't, you know, I don't even know what it was. Maybe, <sighs> you know, I don't even know what it was. It was something really, it was, so, it was like, I wasn't in the lane that he wanted to be, be, me to be in at the time that he wanted me to be in it. So, you know, I mean, like, I, I got over to where I was supposed to be, but, like, he's just, oh, God damn it, and he's just making this, and I just, you know, and it's at a certain point, like, when someone's getting pissed off about nothing, and you're just, like, it, I mean, I almost turned around, and I was, like, is this really worth this upsetness? Like, are, are you, is, what's just happening? Is that proportional to your reaction right now? Because it's not. <laughs> and it try it just, it, but that's him, right? 
and it's not something I should be taking, I should be taking personally. It's not something to take personally, right? It's not personal, even though it feels like it is because, you know, throughout our life, it has very much been very, I mean, it's, it's everyone. Don't get me wrong. It's everyone and everywhere, but it's like, he's specially, he saves the, he saves the doozies for me. You know what I mean? Like he just, and it's because, you know, as a kid and now as an adult, like I was more sensitive, right? I mean, it's really easy to get a reaction out of me. That's, it's hard for me not to show my emotions. And my emotions, I wouldn't say volatile, but like, they're there. And they feel, <laughs> I feel them, you know? And, um, and I'm sensitive, yeah, okay. So it was, I was an easy mark, is really the story there. Um... So it's always kind of got it in, in for me there. It's just, oof. And uh, so, but again, not personal, even though it feels personal because he makes it kind of feel, you know, like he's, he, make, he makes it personal. It's actually not because that's about him. It's not about me. It's about him. And it's it's so hard to remember that when, you know, what was it? He wanted me to pull over to the, so we were walking, we were going, this is, I mean, it's stupid. I just want to show you the example. Like we were, <laughs> we're, we're pulling, pulling up to my nephew's soccer game, whatever. And it's a, there's a street that we're on, the field's right on the, on the side of it. And my father's like, oh, go over to the left. There's a place to park over in the left. We have a place to park over the left. So I, it was a street. So I was like, thinking there's like a, a structure over here and I was thinking there was a left that I, I had to take. So I went further than he wanted me to. And he's like, ah, oh, he starts, you're going too far. You're going too far. I'm like what? And he's like, stop, stop. Oh no, you're going too far now. Yeah. Like it just, it was like, I mean, it was really, it was at BC. And if you know where BC is, Boston College High School, there's just, there's just this crazy way you have to get like to get into it like you have to come off Morrissey, take this weird right. It's a complicated maze to get in, is all I'm saying. So we're pulling over to the left and he's like, oh, it's too far, it's too far, it's too far. I'm like, okay, fine, we'll go around again. Um, because he, he was like, oh, I want you to pull over. I said to pull over, I told you to pull over. I'm like, you did not say pull over, you said go to the left. There's a difference. And he's like, oh, well, maybe, you know, next time I should be clearer. And I'm like, yeah, you should say the words, pull over. <laughs> so he's <laughs> He makes this noise. It's really like. So anyway, I'm like, fine, we'll go, we'll go back around. So we go around and I mean, it takes a good, you know, five, 10 minutes <laughs> to go back to navigate. It's okay. I got to go all the way back to the road, come around, go back over here, do these weird turns and stuff like that and get back to the same place that we're at. We stopped. I pulled over maybe, maybe 10 feet from where he had where we decided that I had to go back around. <laughs> it's a one way, so it's not like I could turn around. It's just like, you just let us go. I mean, it's, it, was, it was less than 10 feet, less than 10 feet. And then he walked, it's just, and then he walked around the thing anyway. So it would have been, it's just, anyway, anyway, but that's just who he is. That's not personal. It's just who he is. No, that's not true. That's not true. Who he is, is just like all of us are beings of light and, and awareness, right? We're all these amazing, it, we're the universe made conscious of itself, right? It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. We also have these bodies and these egos attached to this particular, in, you know, in this particular life cycle, to our, our particular, whatever our frequency, whatever our collective, I see the way I picture it is like, so big bang, right? Plasma over, you know, several hundred thousand years starts to cool down and, and things start to collect, right? And different, this is, it's more dense here. So it, you know, it, it collects more here, like it's hydrogen, the hydrogen's more dense here. So, you know, it starts creating a get gravitational pull and more stuff gets pulled in. So it's a, like a, uh, 
it's a it's a magnetism it's being pulled in and it's like stuff and then it creates something from trying trying to figure out because what i want to say is like my thought process on how like what we are as far as being a being who knows that they know that they know they're a being like where so this consciousness right like there's this idea that most people say is that there's just there's everything is conscious that every, there's everything has a consciousness to it because it exists i think that's the theory but we have a special like level i guess um because we know that we know that we know and that's like deep right in of it in and of itself but um this this being that knows that we know that we know this is this awareness is not of this plane right i mean we're not <clears throat> we're not we're not even a thought and emotion plane right we're definitely not in the physical plane the, th the thought and emotion plane we're not there either i don't know where we are but my thought is big bang plasma in the physical world we know how the physical world sort of came together right collections of things collection of hydrogen atoms <clears throat> pulled together and eventually the gravit gravitational force was so great that it became a sun you know or a star or whatever you know there's, there's star nurseries and then planets you know because collections of things collections of matter things that ended up being matter collected because there was gravitational and it was all pulled together so my my thought is it works that way it seems to me in the observable universe that things work in cycles things if things work in one way here they probably work in the same way over here you know what i mean like i mean I'm, maybe there are different laws of physics on different planets i don't know but um i don't know who the hell knows right but it seems to me like okay <sighs> electrons orbit the nucleus of uh an atom right and then star like planets orbit sun and the sun and the stars they rotate in the gallery and then in the gallery and the galaxy and then there's tons of galaxies that are rotating i myself feel that's interesting <laughs> i you know i feel a lot of energy a lot of the energy that i've stored throughout my life in my body i've been really releasing it over the past year and it's gone in levels um anyway the point for that is like any level it is when it's stuck it's revolving and that's a samskara i mean it's really weird I mean, it's another video but it's really it's not weird in a bad way but it's just like oh my god it's a it's amazing but i i like the word weird and i don't mean anything bad by weird it's just weird because it's not what you'd think it's not something people talk about every day it's not an everyday thing although it is an everyday thing because it's happening every moment of every day to everyone um but so this some scars are these these pockets of energy rotating around each other and that's energy right and granted with some scars some scar energy is because we held on to something in emotion whatever and we weren't we didn't relax and release it and it got stuck um so but when it gets stuck because you know energy has to keep moving and so it moves in the circle because that's the only way something can stay in one place and still be moving all the time kind of went off on one there point is things revolve around each other in all different areas of life um so why wouldn't the different planes of existence have similar things so my thought getting back to it is that whatever our consciousness is made out of it comes together and it's more concentrated in our consciousness you know more it's con it, 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 there's consciousness the same sort of thing in a dog or a cat or a bird or a snake you know to different levels or whatever but I, that's my particular take on what like some of the work working of it anyway where was i going with this do 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 my father is also a being of light right we're all beings of light beings of i mean in the sense of being the light of awareness <laughs> so we've got these egos attached 
you know, to these, these egos, the body, the body and the ego somehow have snagged our awareness and we are now attached to that for this life. That's me. That's you. That's everyone. That's my father. So <clears throat> when I get upset with him, I'm not actually so upset with him. I'm upset. My ego is upset by his ego, right? An ego being anything that's not you in the sense of like your thoughts, your emotions, your reactions, all the, all that that's going on that you're, you just observe because it's not you. That's the ego, right? Um, did that stop? Okay. I don't know. I don't have my glasses on and I can't really see. Um, so I think, so what I'm working on then is for my actual being to just observe my thoughts, my, my ego, the reactions I'm having, right? Because I have a lot of them. We all do. And recognize that his ego, I don't want to say he's not as evolved because that seems judgy. But I don't want to judge him because, I mean, you know what? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Sitting on the floor is not that comfortable either. Um, because we all have our things, right? And there are some ways in which I am not evolved at all. Um, and, you know, my father is very spiritual, very Catholic. And, you know, as far as Catholic Catholicism go, he's pretty upper echelon. He's pretty, he's pretty evolved when, as it comes to, like, being a Catholic. Um, or at least he thinks, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows these things, right? I mean, like, really, all we're doing is guessing, right? <laughs> I mean, I kind of know, but I know, I know, I'm right, but everybody else is guessing. Um, anyway, the point is, uh, I'm working on recognizing in the moment, because that my ego is just reacting to his ego, and his ego is formed by, like, some really fucked up stuff. So, number one, the way to do that is to stay in the present moment. Um, and that's what I'm working on a lot of lately. And then number two is to be compassionate and em empathic, knowing that how his, his thoughts and emotions and his, his, me his mentality and his emotional life and spiritual life, how they were all created, which was in a really crappy situation growing up. Um, yeah, it's just amazing generational trauma. It's really like, wow, why haven't we thought about this before? <laughs> Um, well, I mean, people have, but that's okay. That's a tangent and we're not going to go there. We're going to stay on task. Um, so I'm working on compassion for him for that because you know what? We all have our shit. We all have our shit. And if I'm going to judge someone for having their shit, then I'm a hypocrite. So I was talking about my sister to my sister-in-law today and you know, it's frustrating. It, the thing about it, it's like, okay, yes, it hurts me. It does. But that's okay. I can deal with that. She's hurting my mother. My parents are, my father's 85, just turned 85 today. And she, my mom's 78. She's going to be 79 in February. You know, they're not spring chickens. My sister has two small children, like, one in three or something like that. Who knows? Because honestly, she didn't tell us the second was born. The second one was born until months after he was. <sighs> ego reaction. That was an ego reaction. Let's, let's break that down. Um, I'm angry at her for that. <sighs> and that's because I'm taking it personally. <sighs> um... See, there's an... In this, this is... This is I think I need to sit with this a lot more because I've been, I have not been, I've been pulling, pushing it away or just, or just allowing myself to get angry because it, sometimes it feels good. The self-righteous bullshit feels good because you're like, you're right, you're wrong, I'm right, and you are so wrong, and I am so right. You know what I mean? Like, what you're doing is horrible. This is, you know, you shouldn't be doing this, but then, then we go to the whole, you can't decide what's happening. Who are you to say what should and shouldn't happen? 
So what if the, what you prefer is this? That's it's not about you. The world is not about you. The, the world is not about me. The world is not about us. The environment, the universe is about the universe. We're all one, right? I mean, we really are. And um, oh man, sorry, my foot. Oh, and you know what? I'm gonna put it up here. Um, I could try to. <laughs> uh, so. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of sleepy, and I know that you can't really see me. <laughs> it's not the greatest Facebook Live. But, so I'm working on this, and I kind of one of the things I was thinking when I came home today, uh, after my father's birthday party, I came back in, and I was just thinking about my sister, because I've been talking about her to my sister-in-law. You know, just being like, like, what the fuck? It's like, she, you know, and I said to her, like, you know, she's, she's just sick. Like, there's something really wrong. And you know, I don't, again, no judgment because I'm sick in a different way. You know what I mean? Like, look at, look at what, I mean, I take how many medications? Not to judge myself, but I'm just saying that I can look at something and call it what it is without being judgmental. Like my father, my father is a classic narcissist and I don't mean that in a mean way at all. All I'm saying is a statement of fact, he is a narcissist. He's a great guy, great guy, loves people, wants to help people. When it comes to his interests, <laughs> you know, but other than that, he's great. Um, and you know, he's mellowing a little bit, he is. Um, which is interesting, because usually people, people become more whatever they are, but he's chilling. Not a lot, but I see it in different places, okay. I am just rambling now. So I just think about my sister and like how horrible it must be to live in a world where you take yourself completely out of your family for no reason for, I mean, there's gotta be a reason in her head, right? I mean, there's, there's something, we don't know what it is. You know, I have a friend who didn't talk to her family for years because she was ashamed maybe it's something like that maybe she's pissed off at us i mean i know that she's pissed off. she was pissed off at me i don't know what her feelings are now for all i know she could just not know how to get back in touch with me not you know like not be able to not be able to take that pill and swallow it you know the pride pill um but i'm certainly not gonna <laughs> but i'm certainly not gonna reach out to her now um no but i'm i i reached out to her a lot many 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 times before this happened and it keeps happening. So she wants to get in touch with me, she can get in touch with me. Point being, I'm upset about what she's doing to my mother, but that's not, that's not me. Um, and I shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't pick it up, right? It's not mine to pick up, it's not mine to carry. Um, although it, it, that feels like, I'm just going in circles now, that feels like suppression. You know, um, cause when I get, I mean, I can be like, oh yeah, no, you know what? She's really not well and she's suffering. Okay. She's suffering. But then when I start talking about what actually is the case, I start getting angry as fuck. And my question there then is like, okay, if I'm getting angry, if I am feeling anger, then this energy must already be inside of me and what it, my thoughts are hitting it. It's not like this anger is floating around here and I'm feeling it there. It's inside of me somewhere. So if I'm not feeling it, then I'm repressing it or suppressing it. So maybe I, I mean, I just need to let myself go through the anger. Okay. So there's that. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because it's like... <gasps> Oh, it's thirty in the morning, and I really need to go to bed because I got to be able to think tomorrow because I got a new deadline. So I am grateful that I have found these books that have helped me, found these teachers that have helped me, um, help me grow and realize things and become more spiritually aware and uh, learn things that I would never have known. And have, that have helped me unbelievably. Um, I'm grateful for that. I'm really grateful for that. 
Um, and I, I want that for everybody. Like, you know, I want that for all of you. And that's why I do these videos, right? Like, maybe you'll see them and maybe you'll be like, hey, you know, I feel like that sometimes too. And this is my reaction. But I guess there's a different way to react. I can choose to react in a different way. I can choose to handle this differently. My thoughts and my feelings, I can choose to handle them differently. Because when I was depressed, I did not know that I could handle them differently. I didn't know how to handle them. So the way I handled them was just how I thought I had to handle them. I don't know. Um, so what, that's what I want for you guys. And if any one person out there gets that from these, I am grateful. So, so, so grateful. Um, so I'm just going to go to bed. Um, just before I do, I'm going to remind you all that you can always choose to have a grateful night.